Yo, what's up, dude? It's been a bit, huh? Today we're gonna make a Pokedex. Let's do it. <laughs> that is right. We are making a Pokedex today. I have a friend that's learning Swift UI, and one of the ways he decided to practice was by making a Pokedex. There's an API that you can get in that gives you all of this Pokemon data, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and so he made an app out of it, and I decided to do the same just for some practice. Because I've never used an API before. So let's get started. First, we're making an app bar. You know what I'm saying? Just a simple, just says Pokedex. I personally like the title in the center of the app bar as opposed to like off to the side, so I threw it there. And then now let's look at the API. And this API seems pretty basic. I mean, it's just a list of a bunch of Pokemons and it has like the basic data for each Pokemon. Okay, cool, 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 cool. But I still need to figure out how to bring that API data into Flutter. And I found this cool article called Fetch Data from the Internet. It's actually made by the Flutter team. So I started following this tutorial. I followed the tutorial, I got to the end and I was testing things out. And every time I tried to load the data, it just wasn't happening. I was getting a little error screen. Life was not good. I'm bad at reading documentation. But luckily I live in the era where YouTube exists. <laughs> so I just did what I always do. I went to YouTube and I searched the same thing that I just searched in Google. And I found this, building lists with JSON data. Perfect, just what I want. So I followed this dude's tutorial. It's really, really good. And then another thing that I didn't know how to do is using internet images. I've used images that we've downloaded to the app before. But with this Pokemon data, all we got was like a string that leads us to a URL that has the picture. <laughs> this is actually really easy. Flutter has a widget called network image and then you just pass in the URL and then it'll just go get the image. It's sick, it's awesome. So now with all my combined knowledge of network images and getting HTTP requests, mm, we got to work in Pokedex, kind of. <laughs> At least it displays the pictures and the names of each Pokemon. Looks pretty good, right? We should stop here. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? This looks like ass. So now it's time to style this page a little bit. Give it a little the little razzle dazzle, you know what I'm saying? And I suck at this. <laughs> I'm so bad with styling. It takes me a really long time to figure out how I'm gonna do what I want to do. Like here, look at this. I don't know. I just got all these little red messages here. Ooh, it looks like we're close. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, this is better. This looks a lot better, actually. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh no, it's the construction warning sign. <laughs> Whatever. Ooh, okay, this is moving in the right direction for sure. Boom, here we go. I think this is it. Okay, so now that we have the main screen done, we want each of these little Pokemons on the screen to be clickable. And when you click on the Pokemon, it should bring you to another screen that's gonna give you the details about that specific Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? When you click on Charizard, it's gonna bring you to a page about Charizard, dude. So I don't know if you've ever done mobile programming, but the data that's on one screen doesn't necessarily transfer to the other screen. So clearly I have a list of all the Pokemon on the main screen, which means I have the data for all of those Pokemon on the main screen. So what I need to do is when you click on a Pokemon, it should bring you to a new screen and also send that Pokemon's data to that new screen. And so I was going through a bunch of articles, a bunch of documentation, and I was trying to figure out how I could pass a Pokemon data from one screen to another. And then I finally found an article that showed me and it was super easy. I don't know what I was on before that. <laughs> but here, look, I click on Bulbasaur, boom, Bulbasaur, easy. Or once I saw this new screen, I didn't like that the names of all the Pokemon are lowercase. Like I think the first letter should be uppercase. It's name, that's how names work. <laughs> so I found this stack overflow answer that showed me how to do this in Dart. Boom, all caps, baby. So now I made this individual Pokemon screen so that the app bar is the same color. There's the capitalized letter. And now you can see an image of the Pokemon. Pretty sweet. But the screen's looking a little stale. So let's throw a little box around the Pokemon. Uh, but let's make that box not as intense. <laughs> perf, perf, perf. Now we need to display some data. Charmeleon is a fire type. Venusaur is a poison type. Why am I the way that I am? <laughs> but okay, we need to make this text look a bit more exciting. So I threw some razzle dazzle on the text, okay? We're still not at the end stylistic goal though. So let's keep tweaking. Weekend. All right, we're getting somewhere. I like the little grid view, how we got some data next to each other. It's a bit too spaced out though. Let's let's move it in a bit. Ooh, too much, too much, too much, too much. <laughs> we need to spread it out a bit more than that. <laughs> All right, this looks good, I think. This is fine. I mean, I could probably make this look a little bit prettier, a bit more eye-catching, but dude, this is just a practice app. I'm making this app to test API calls, dude. The style is just because I'm having fun with this, okay? So and finally, we're throwing the description down at the bottom and let's put a little circle around the description as well. And then here's me making Making an Instagram story of this completed app because it's done. This was a simple build, but actually, I feel like I learned a lot. I learned that APIs are super easy to work with in Flutter. I learned that network images are super easy to work with in Flutter. And this app build actually taught me a lot about styling in Flutter for some reason. But so that's it, dude. It's a good coding day, huh? I kind of like doing this. Normally, if you've watched my videos, you'd know that I have like a long project that I'm working on over the course of multiple days. But I like doing these one day builds just to practice. What do you think about this one day quick little build? Do you think I should do more of these? What do you think? Think about the 
the video. What did you think about the app? What did you think about the styling of the app? All feedback is seriously super, super appreciated. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? Come on, stop by now. Okay, goodbye.